Hey everyone, I'm back with another video. I hope you're all doing incredibly well today. In today's video, we are sharing an Abercrombie couples outfits try on haul. In this video, we will be trying on kind of like different outfits for different things. Loungewear, maybe headed to the gym, date night. Um, kind of a good variety of Abercrombie outfits to share with you girls today. Now, of course, everything that we share in today's video will be listed and linked down below in the description box. If you're on mobile, tap to this video and everything will populate for you there. So if you have any other questions or need anything else at all, just leave me a comment down below and I will get back to you. And if you're new around here, my name is Brittany. I create clothing haul videos here roughly twice a week. I would love for you to join in by hitting the subscribe button. All right, let's get right into it. Abercrombie Try and Haul Couple Outfits Edition. Now the first outfit we have here is kind of what I envision more for like a date night out or even like a casual day date. The first two items I want to talk about is this denim mini skirt. I know I've shared this multiple times here on my channel, over on Instagram, TikTok, all the things, but I absolutely love this. Denim skirts have definitely been trending and they will continue to trend. In fact, we're starting to see them get even smaller this spring and summer, um, but I absolutely love a midi length on me. I am a curvier build and I just find that it's way more comfortable to wear, so much more wearable than like a mini skirt. For me, anytime I wear something mini, I'm always just yanking it down to cover my booty. I have a smaller waist, so I feel like it just rides up and I just feel way more comfortable in an actual midi length this one here is um, a high-rise fit and I had a size up in this to a 30 10 typically at Abercrombie in their curb love collection which is smaller in the waist more room in the butt hips and thigh area I size to a six in any of their jeans or denim anything like that but since this is not a curb love collection and it's a denim skirt, I have to size up. And then just with it being, again, a denim skirt, I just sized up again to be more comfortable. I can still kind of adjust it. The eight on me was definitely just more tight. I had to kind of like, I don't know, like shimmy to be able to pull it down if I stood up or something like that. So for me, I'd rather be more comfortable. I am in a size 10. This skirt comes in quite a few different color variations, including a white denim as well as a black, which is absolutely gorgeous too. And then I just have on a really basic long sleeve tee here. This is their baby tee. I'm wearing a size medium. Styled it back with those Dolce Vita boots. I love those. I definitely recommend sizing up a half size, but all in all, just a very comfortable outfit. I would wear this over and over again. I would wear this with sneakers as well. Just a really good casual date outfit. Keep it short for the guys, but if this is things that your significant other complains about, uh, these are the athletic stretch, sorry, athletic skinny pants from Abercrombie. They're going to be great if you have a little bit of the bigger quads or if your guy has a little bit of the bigger quads or if he has a big butt for some reason, he's a football player, I don't know. <laughs> feel a little bit of the plane, but I still like the skinny version of these, but these ones have, have the nice, more modern kind of taper at the bottom, but straight leg through the upper portion. Now for the t-shirts and the overcoat, this is the essential tee with a little bit of acid wash. This is the classic one. They make this in a ton of colors, but probably one of my top favorite tees ever. <laughs> Come <good>. on. <laughs> All right. And then the flannel, pretty much whatever Abercrombie has in as far as flannels, super soft material great fit you can get them in the talls and things like that if you have problems with the length or if you just want it normal yeah they always just have really good neutrals in these too and then um for pat sizing just so you girls know pat is six two about 220 pounds athletic what are you yeah. <laughs> um just more of like an athletic build so for the t-shirts he absolutely loves the essential tees the most i know we shared these in our gift guide that we did together and a lot of you had bought um, the tee and it's just such a good basic in his wardrobe but he does wear an extra large tall in these and then for this little flannel he had sized up to the double x tall but pat does like things a little bit more oversized especially when it's like a flannel very similar to me if it's kind of like a layering piece you kind of just want it to be a little bit oversized for the jeans just to uh talk about that through too so i think their athletic abercrombie's athletic skinny is sort of similar to the curve love collection it's just going to give the guy a little extra room in the butt area Area in the hip areas like Pat had mentioned the quads so if your guy is just a little bit of a stockier build a little bit thicker um, maybe more muscular the athletic skinny will be a great option and I'm a 32 6 2 I wear a 32 length and I roll the bottom a little bit and that's it for our first date casual date night outfit okay, okay now our next 
outfit is loungewear. Pat and I both absolutely live in comfy loungewear pieces. You guys know I'm a huge fan. I do dedicated hauls here, specifically loungewear, all the time on my channel. I work from home, and so I'm always in a comfy but put together loungewear outfit. As soon as Pat gets home from the gym or work, he's in comfy clothes too. Abercrombie does it the absolute best. In fact, I'm always browsing their loungewear section just because the colors are always perfect, like a muted soft color. The fabrics are amazing. The fit are always a 10 out of 10. So this is their new little waffle um, set. It also comes in shorts as well as a pullover hoodie and I think just like a pullover as well in these pants I got the beautiful soft muted pink color. I did size up to a large in these This is typical for me again with being a curvier build in my butt and hips I just like to size up and then I'm super comfortable. It's not too tight across my butt um, And I just like my pants lounge pants sweatpants just to be a little bit looser fitting and then this little tank top I got in a size medium, which is my regular size I think this is really a nice different kind of tank top more of like a um, a square top which is different than from like a fitted one that I always wear and I just thought that was like cute and something different this little cozy cardigan is super old I got this years ago from Express but I will definitely link something very similar down below Okay, and then Pat's, this is the jogger set that we actually shared in our gift guides. Very, very cozy. It is back in stock with quite a few different colors. Um, it's not Pat's absolute favorite. You want to talk through that? I wouldn't wear it like out, but as far as lounging around the house, tee's super soft, pants are super soft. They're just like a more slim material, so they're definitely tighter. So we were kind of laughing because it's just very tight to the crotch area which is nice wouldn't wear it out <laughs> it's nice for pajamas and lounging at home but definitely not like you're not gonna wear that out like i feel like i could like probably get away with this or maybe in like a darker color you can get away with wearing it out of the house um if you're just grabbing coffee or something like that running a quick errand but these are definitely more body hugging and very soft but definitely just more pajama you're staying in for sure in these um and then the size you got extra large for both and overall, just super soft, just like <laughs> very fitting to the body. <laughs> Okay, and then next, I'm more of a probably like another date night or casual date night. I love a good denim dress. Again, very on trend for the season. I feel like when you find one that fits you really good, though, you're going to have it for years to come. I got this one, and I love the long sleeve length. I see myself styling this with boots, and um, I feel like I could even style it with sneakers as well, or even maybe some wedges when we move into the warmer season i got a size large in this definitely just a little too big in the torso and chest arm area so i definitely should have gotten the medium i think it has a really nice fit like an a-line fit so the medium would fit me perfectly comes in a little bit closer to my waist and then i and then skims right over the hips so really really love this comes in lots of different colors including black and a lighter wash i went for the medium blue i just definitely needed a size medium in this Guys, similar to the first one, essential tee. This one's a gray color with the ashes wash again, and then another flannel, different colorway, but you're just looking to match the t-shirt. And then the jeans, same ones. Those were ones for the original one. Yep, and the essential tee, just so you guys know, they are constantly um, bringing in new colors. I think right now, at any given point, there's like 15 to 18 different colors. It is just so soft, and as you wear and wash, I feel like it just gets even softer. That's why Pat loves them. He's very particular if it's soft. If it, he's not wearing something if it's not soft. And um, this tee is just incredible for that. I like the little worn wash look to it. Always a ton of different colors. Okay, guys, going first this <laughs> time. Uh, <laughs> This is the heavyweight essential tee, so similar to the other ones, but this one has density to it as far as the fabric goes. Everything's super nice as far as the stitching and like the edges of the shirt. It has a seam in the back, but these are kind of an oversized look for sure, but completely different than the other essential tees that are super soft and kind of just fit like a standard tee. These ones kind of give you a different look if you're looking for that type of thing. Come in a bunch of great colors. Yeah. And I wore this with just some Nike tighter running joggers. These tees are brand new for Abercrombie. It's, so again, it's their heavyweight premium tee. It also comes in a long sleeve and a, a pullover as well. Um, so just kind of like a new, a new style for them, but definitely have that really nice heavier weight. This is a thick oversized t-shirt. I feel like if your guy likes to wear joggers or skinnier pants, um, even how Pat styled it with the Nike 
joggers the, this is just like such a great oversized tee to kind of pair it back with that um and like i said the colors are insane on this i mean i feel like abercrombie just has the absolute best colors we love their muted colors this to me is basically a neutral with how muted it is you can style this in so many different ways and to call it out again the seaming on this is really nice a really nice rib collar just a lot of details in this and i think the fit is just amazing i love this look on pat He's wearing a size XL tall. He is, he just ordered it again though in the large tall just to see kind of how that would fit. Again, Pat's just like more muscular and that's the reason why he's sized up. Um, I feel like otherwise, like just order your true size. If your guy maybe has like a little bit more thicker thickness in the stomach area, just order your true size. He's only gonna size down just to see if it fits um, a little bit more snug what in your like arms and just yeah. chest area. And then for me, I have on my favorite little joggers that I've shared multiple times here. These are the Neo Knit joggers. So comfy. I do size up to a large in them. Have a nice elastic waistband so I don't have to get them taken in or anything like that. Again, I just like that looser fit across my butt. And then this is one of the little um, YPB pullovers. So again, a really nice fabric. Both of these very much like a very breathable, moisture wicking fabric. I love the neutrals. I just style it with sneakers. And then I also had a Lululemon belt bag that I feel like it's just perfect for, you know, a very casual outfit. We're running errands, we're going grocery shopping, we're grabbing a coffee, walking to the beach, that kind of thing. Right, we love our lounge wear and we absolutely love our active wear. So we kind of have another little active wear um, outfit to share with you guys. These pants here, I recently got in. They are from Athleta. They are the Salutation pants they have a flare to the bottom i absolutely love these i love athleta leggings my favorite leggings from them are the elation 7 8 leggings they also have a flare pant these ones are just have like a little more support i feel like in the lower stomach area and then also has pockets and i just love the flare ones i feel like these are like my perfect i don't know running errands like comfy leggings to kind of wear out of the home i get a size small in those which is true to the elation leggings from athleta as well and then abercrombie's your personal best their activewear line they have great tank tops always bring in different styles this one's a little bit older but i will link um, the one that is in stock and I always grab a size small in these which is typical for me I do size down typically with any kind of like workout tank I just want it to be a little bit more snug fitting for my chest and then another little YPB pullover This one is the the hoodie version, but lots of lots of colors again the coloring the neutrals It's just they do it the best. I am wearing a size medium in this okay for my offer for the guys This is the Neo Max hoodie. It's got the little YPB. It's from that line it's got the little logo on the sleeve, but other than that, pretty muted, neutral top. Has a cool little zipper on the inside for like a phone if you don't want it to fall out. Super applicable if you want to actually wear it to the gym, but I think I'm going to pretty much wear this thing everywhere because so, so soft, soft on the inside yeah. and the outside's crazy like almost rain resistant material. Yeah, very similar to the joggers that I just spoke to. Again, moisture wicking. Um, just has that really performance based like fabric and styling to it and pat was blown away by how soft this is again a little particular with <laughs> with hoodies and how things feel and just immediately he was like this is an absolute must keep um lots of really good neutral colors like beautiful neutral colors that we cannot stress that enough and i just think it's an overall amazing fit and you're in what size in this and this is the double extra large oh, okay so the double XL, again, Pat, is 6'2". Okay, everyone, that is it for our Abercrombie Try and Haul Couples Edition. I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Comment down below what your favorite outfit was, what your favorite item. Are you going to order something for your guy for maybe Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. or are you going to order something? Um, we would just love to know which outfits you guys liked, what pieces you liked. Of course, everything linked down below in the description box, top of the title of this video, everything will populate for you there. Also, I had talked about in a couple previous videos that I was going to have more of those tailored trousers to try on for you guys. I had ordered a bunch of fun spring colors. That entire package got lost for this video. Like, literally everything we ordered didn't make it, which is so sad. It's literally lost. But if you did enjoy this video and you would like to see more of Pat in upcoming videos doing some try-on hauls, let us know. We would love to get some feedback from you guys so we can definitely do another Abercrombie or another place as well very soon here. I'm really excited. I think on Sunday I will have my first vlog going up. Some of you guys had asked to see vlogs and just more of like my day-to-day -day life, what's going on, that kind of thing. So I'm sure you'll see a little bit more of Pat in that as well. But thank you so much for watching today's video. We hope to see you really soon at our next one. Bye.